All right, let's create our first budget worksheet. As you know, budget is an amount of money that you uh, have as an income or as an expense during a, a certain amount of time. So let's start by creating a new worksheet. Here where it says Untitled. Let's change the name to Budget. Budget. Also here in Sheet 1, click on this tab. We're going to also rename it as Budget. If you want to give it a color, change color, let's say yellow. All right. So the first thing that we need for our budget is uh, a title. So click on cell A1, column A, row one, my budget. Okay, if this is too tight, you're gonna stretch it. So make it bigger between A and B. And then also we need the categories, right? You're gonna type categories and enter the categories. I already gonna copy and paste. You're gonna type them. It's gonna be from savings, charity, money that you're gonna donate, food, entertainment, clothing, and electronics. What type of electronics are you buying for Christmas? And of course, you don't need this yet. And of course, total, you need to add total. So also we need the amounts. How much money is you, you're gonna end spend in each category? So you're gonna type for your for savings, let's say you're going to save ten dollars a month. And fifteen for charity, you're gonna donate this to charity. Food fifty hundred and fifty two seventy five and two fifty for electronics. Right, so these are these are amounts, therefore we need to format this with the dollar sign. So <clears throat> you're gonna find here the format as a currency. You click on them and automatically you see that all the values are entered. All right, so now we have our budget. Let's format some of these fonts. Let's change the font size for the budget to 12. And let's also merge these two cells. So we have this area to center our title. Click on center. Let's give it a red color. And let's fill in this with a nice, so let's put bold and italic. And we're gonna do the same for our headings. Red, let's fill with this light blue. Also let's change the fonts to 12. All right, so our format is going to, is looking nice. In addition, we're gonna give them borders. So highlight from A4, all the way to B9, and let's put the borders, okay? Okay, so we have now formatted our worksheet. So what's next? Of course, total. So what do we need to add? We need to sum from B4 through B9, so let's Click on the first range, which is before, press shift, 
click the cell B9, see it's highlighted, and let's find a function. Do not add this manually. A lot of students make that mistake and add these values manually. So find this function, and we're gonna use sum. Click it. You see that in the formula bar, every formula starts with the equal, su equal sign, and the function automatically put those values for us. Instead of us typing the formula by doing, highlighting this and enter the formula, uh, selecting this sum automatically give us the formula. So let's hit enter. And the total is 750. If you don't have this amount, make sure to correct them because it has to give you the correct amount. So, um, all right. So what else we can do in here? Um, now that you had your budget, we can enter also, we can create a graph. So how are we gonna represent data? We need to first, do we want a pie graph or do we gonna chart? So let's high, let's mark this from savings, select A4, we wanna only represent our data from A4, shift to B9. So we wanna highlight this area only, okay? So we're gonna insert a chart And let's say we're going to do a bar chart. All right, so we have represented our chart. All right, if we want to also add a pie chart, you know, a pie chart from uh, Basically, each, each piece depends of, on amount of money set in category. Okay, so let's do the same thing. We already have this area highlighted. Let's do insert chart. And instead of choosing column chart, I'm gonna use pie chart. Okay. There you have it. Here you have your budget, categories, total amount. Now that you're done, test it and share your work.